Hi everyone and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we have a really cool crayon melt Christmas ornament project that we're doing with the kids. For this project all you need is some plastic ornament shells. So these are the shells that you can buy in most places that you can fill with different things. You're going to want some crayons and you're going to want to strip a little bit of the uh, crayon paper off of the end and then you're going to need a hair dryer. We also found it really helpful to have a mason jar or some sort of cup that's going to hold the side of the ornament still while you're working. To do this project, all you need to do is turn on the hair dryer and aim it at the crayon to start melting the wax. Then take the crayon and swirl it around on the inside of the ornament shell. The results are really beautiful and look like almost vintage stained glass when they're all finished. And during this project, you can explore some different science concepts with your kids, including melting points and the changes in states of matter as the wax goes from solid to liquid. And as it's liquid, you can actually move it around and change it. So if you change your mind about anything, it's really easy to do. But another thing that you're gonna to wanna to talk to your kids about with this project is color science. Because we're melting the wax, there will be some color mixing. So it's a really cool idea to incorporate a little bit of color science into your project with your kids as you're crafting so they can learn about the primary and tertiary colors as they mix and they can decide which colors would be best in their ornaments. So as you can see, we're now layering in a second color. We're using red and green. In between each color, you're gonna to wanna to let your ornament sit for about five minutes so the first layer of crayon wax can harden. It will soften again as you're adding in future layers. So you just need to be aware of that for when you're putting your colors in that they will mix a little bit. If you change your mind about any of your designs, it's really forgiving. All you need to do is take your hair dryer aim it in the wax again until it liquefies and then you can push it around and move it, change your designs. You can see here I'm going through some of the red and layering in some green and it's just changing the whole look and you can continue to do this until your kids are perfectly happy with their creations. Once your ornament is all done and all your wax is in there, it takes two to five minutes for the wax to harden again. And then you can put the two shells back together and add a ribbon or a piece of twine, hang it on a tree or in a window and it'll look just beautiful. Another idea we really liked was putting in little paper notes that were written by the kids that you can open in future years. This is always a great little time capsule that you can do with the kids. Finally, this idea we really loved the final effect of. We took an LED tea light and put it inside of the ornament, closed it up, and it created just the most beautiful flickering ornament effect that was just stunning on the tree. And I can just imagine doing this at home with your kids or even at school. So you have a bunch of them on the tree at school that are all kid made, flickering away on the tree and they look just beautiful. I hope you enjoy this STEM ornament project with your kids. For more ideas for the holidays, check out steampoweredfamily.com. Have a great day, bye for now.